guys, good afternoon. Uh, yeah, in this moment it's afternoon here in Costa da Caparica. And uh, in this video, I want to talk about something that is, uh, I mean, I noticed that in the last months, uh, the first video that I made about this subject uh, went uh, pretty well and uh, with a lot of comments, a lot of people reached out to me on Instagram also talking about this. And here it is, <laughs> $10 like uh, part uh, two. The Lumix FS3. So in this video, I basically I don't want to repeat myself on uh, cameras uh, specs because uh, there's already the part one in which I talk more like in depth uh, about this camera. Uh, and uh, actually, as the title says, uh, it's a Digicam. It's uh, one of those cameras uh, from the early 2000s. I paid it like uh, 14 euros if I remember well. So yeah, 10 dollars, 15 dollars. It's uh, basically the same thing, and uh, the only remarkable thing about this camera is the <laughs> Leica lens, <laughs> kinda. That's why I called it the ten dollars Leica, and uh, the fact that it has a CCD sensor, so the pro, I mean, uh, the results, the pictures that I take with this camera are pretty interesting, in my opinion. I mean, it's a bit different, yeah, a bit different from uh, the results that you can get with a simul sensor, so. Yeah, it's one thing that is uh, remarkable, that is uh, interesting about this camera. So, uh, what happened last year, uh, I mean, uh, in the first video that I made about this camera, I said that uh, at one point, uh, uh, I think that it was in that video or maybe in another video, I don't remember well, but um, yeah, at one point after using it, uh, after using this camera for like some months, uh, I got a bit, uh, not bored, but I was like, um, you know, I mean, I always try to not uh, gather too much stuff, uh, too much gear in general, and even if uh, it's really, really tiny, and that's why I have it again now with me in my hands. Uh, I mean, uh, at one point I thought, well, I can uh, give it to someone, and in that moment uh, my brother like mentioned that he was missing a sort of a camera to take uh, with him when he goes uh, I mean, out with friends and stuff like that. Uh, so he kind of mentioned this uh, and I thought, well, I can give it to my brother and uh, at least someone is going to use it. Uh, so what happened that uh, I gave it uh, to him like uh, last year or maybe it was the beginning of this year when I went to Italy in February. And then uh, when I went to Italy again in uh, for the last Christmas holidays, uh, I was uh, just uh, searching for stuff uh, in general. I was searching. I don't remember what I was searching for. I was searching for like cables or stuff like that, and I found uh, the camera. <laughs> and I noticed that my brother actually used it, uh, like uh, for some. Um, like uh, little holidays with friends and kind of stuff, but in the end, uh, as uh, he confirmed, uh, he was not, not using it uh, that much because it has. Uh, I mean, it's uh, it's a digicam, and uh, you have to like uh, the look, of course, and uh, I mean it's not uh, a lot uh, more than uh, what uh, a smartphone is. Uh, talking about photography, so its uh, capabilities are pretty limited. Let's say it like this. And, uh, and yeah, in the end, my brother just <laughs> kind of forgot that he had it. So I was like, well, in uh, this moment, uh, I'm feeling like I'm missing something to carry around with me uh, in general. Uh, if I don't want to bring, uh, I mean, if I don't want to take out a lot of gear when I go around, you know, visiting places. Uh, uh, no, usually visiting places, I, <laughs> I carry some gear <laughs> in general. But uh, yeah, going out with friends, this kind of stuff, going out uh, at night. Uh, I mean, I was missing uh, having something like that always with me. And then I decided to take it back again. So stealing it from my brother. And uh, yeah, so at this point, uh, because of this video will be the usual uh, sort of slideshow with some results from this camera, uh, I will already have shown something, probably I will put the pictures here, probably. So I should stand more here, maybe, but I still have to choose. So um, talking about the subject, the actual subject of the video, this was just uh, to give you a little, a little bit of context uh, and why I have it again with me. And uh, I've been using it for the last two months and uh, <laughs> this time I'm not planning to give it uh, to anyone else. I'm planning to keep it with me, so yeah. 
for now it's like this. Uh, so talking about the subject of this video, uh, basically in the last video that I uploaded, I think that this will be the next one. Mm. I mean, I'm still choosing the order, but um, yeah, probably it will be like this. So in the last video that I uploaded about uh, my life updates, uh, about the fact that I moved away from Lisbon, that I'm in Costa da Caparica now, and uh, all this kind of stuff, I mentioned that uh, last year has been a bit uh, stressful, just <laughs> a tiny bit stressful <laughs> and uh, of course the last months uh, have been uh, stressful as well because uh, for all the reasons that I already mentioned in the last video I was searching for a house then uh, me and Claudia went to Italy and then we stayed there for uh, Christmas holidays we came back we were still searching for a house I started uh, working in a new company in the first days of January and uh, all this kind of stuff and then uh, we found a house we moved from one place to another blah blah the, you know our stuff so in the end it was a bit stressful and uh, honestly I have to say that uh, I mean uh, yeah the title is uh, how Digicam saved me from stress and I can say that actually I'm not stressed anymore or that uh, in that in those moments I was not stressed because I had a Digicam uh, with me or this kind of stuff this one in particular <laughs> I can say that uh, but at the same time, I remember uh, quite that vividly that uh, in a lot of moments, a lot of times in which, uh, especially when I was searching for a house, especially when we were visiting places, uh, and then when we actually find, found one, uh, we signed the contract and we started to move our stuff, uh, especially in those moments, I remember that uh, documenting those moments and having something always with me capable of documenting those moments, so a camera, basically. <laughs> was uh, I mean, it was a bit of a relief uh, in this uh, in those moments because I was very like consumed by stress, uh, and uh, that's why in general I mean the message that I want to convey through this video, as if I didn't do it uh, also in the past, but still, it's uh, it's an important message uh, for me. Uh, is that uh, sometimes uh, uh, photography can be also a sort of therapy and I know that I'm not the first uh, person saying this uh, and it's normal it's called also phototherapy I think no I think that that is another thing but still it's uh, something like that so uh, yeah I think that it's uh, it's good for you to always have uh, something capable of documenting what you're doing and in I mean in the last years uh, with new improvements uh, in uh, phones uh, um, hardware, so in phones, cameras, all this kind of stuff, uh, and softwares as well. Uh, we have been used uh, to do it uh, with uh, our smartphones uh, through Instagram stories, uh, through the normal camera, mm, through uh, the gallery of the smartphone. So basically, we have been using uh, the smartphone in the last years. But at the same time, I think that uh, having something like this, I mean, when I'm taking pictures uh, with uh, my smartphone, uh, it's uh, uh, usually it's more for Instagram than uh, for um, like just taking pictures because I'm used to take uh, like Instagram stories uh, with my iPhone of course and uh, but having something like this in my opinion is uh, I mean it's totally it's a different experience because still it's a camera even if it's not like the most fancy camera even if uh, it's not an interchangeable lens camera even if it's not uh, anything in particular even if it's just a digicam it's uh, it puts you in a different state of mind I mean even if you are doing uh, even if you're not planning to take pictures even if you're just going out the fact of having a camera the fact of pulling it out and uh, actually turning it uh, on and actually using it's uh, it's different it's a different feeling comparing it to just using your phone uh, because uh, yeah it's still uh, it's kind of halfway between using your phone for taking pictures and uh, carrying all of your photography gear because it's still like photography gear even if it's small and it's like this uh, so yeah I think that uh, even if you are I mean uh, we people in the photography world we are always uh, uh, searching for new uh, gear that can help us to get better results even uh, if I don't agree like 100% on this but still we're always searching for uh, updates so oh, there's this new lens this new, this new camera all this kind of stuff uh, but in the end in order to take pictures you have to have a camera <laughs> first you need a camera and uh, you need something that is uh, with you and uh, I mean uh, 
considering all the alternatives for like pocketable cameras uh, that can be, for example, let's say just one, uh, for instance, the Ricoh GR series uh, or the Fuji X100 uh, series and stuff like this that are awesome cameras that are like nowhere near to this uh, because it's, uh, I mean, it's a completely different thing. This is not, not even a one inch sensor, it's uh, much less. And, um, and yeah, in general, um, we have this, uh, with these examples of these uh, like uh, awesome cameras uh, as uh, pocketable cameras. Uh, but this is actually another pocketable camera and it's uh, very, very cheap. And uh, in general, if you don't want to carry with you all of your gear, because still I shoot with Micro Four Thirds, but uh, considering that uh, I have uh, like different lenses uh, and uh, the bodies, the Micro Four Thirds bodies are, are small, but not like that small. So, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's a different thing this one. I just put it, uh, I usually have uh, like a bomber jacket uh, during like, winter months. Uh, I have a pocket uh, like here, I just put it uh, like this, slide it into the pocket and then uh, when I need it, I take it off and uh, just shoot like this. All automatic uh, with flash if needed, without flash uh, if uh, not needed. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's different. So yeah, I used it uh, in the last uh, in the last months to basically document uh, what I was doing, uh, the moving process. And I'm glad that I did it because uh, now I have some memories of me and Claudia packing all the stuff and moving here and all, all this kind of stuff. And uh, also, I was documenting the like my, my daily trip <laughs> to go to the to the office. So when I started. Uh, going to, to another office basically when I changed my job in the first days of January and I uh, was documenting so another side of Lisbon uh, that I didn't visit uh, like that much before, another area of the city and uh, I documented as well uh, some of the first times uh, I came uh, here to Caparica to visit the, uh, this apartment, to sign a contract, uh, to stay here, to see if I enjoy the place and all this kind of stuff and uh, uh, these uh, are all like important moments, uh, uh, in my opinion, for me, uh, especially in this uh, point, uh, this point of my life, uh, for all the stuff that happened uh, that I already talked about uh, in the last video, uh, during the last year, of course, uh, and also all the stuff that is happening uh, now, and all the changes in uh, my life um, that this 2022-2023 season is uh, <laughs> bringing. So, uh, in general, uh, I think that it's uh, that is a, it's a good thing, and uh, this will be uh, good memories in the future for me to have. And uh, yeah, so just wanted to say this, and of course uh, I documented as well uh, what I was doing in Italy, so the little trips that I did with my with my brother, with Claudia, and uh, yeah, all the little moments that I was. Um, I mean, it's uh, I mean a camera like this, uh, it's cool for the little moments. I don't think I mean uh, I like some of the pictures that I took. Uh, I think that they are um, I mean they can be considered part of my body of work in general. At the same time, I don't think that I took like uh, masterpieces, uh, but I, I mean, some some of them I really like. So yeah, I think that it's a, it's a mixed feeling because it's still uh, one part of my brain and uh, of my heart as well. I think is uh, thinking that I should consider what I take with my usual gear, like my GX80, my G80. I should consider like more important than what uh, than the pictures that I take with this camera. But at the same time, uh, I mean, uh, some of the results were pretty cool and um, of course guys, uh, this is not uh, to brag or anything, but uh, I've been uh, doing like photography for some years now and uh, uh, honestly I think that uh, it's more about the photographer than the camera itself, even if the camera is something like this sometimes. So yeah, I can say that I really like some of the results. I hope that you like them uh, as well, because at this point uh, you already have seen uh, some of the results here. And uh, yeah, so that's it guys. I just wanted to say this and thank you uh, to all the people who watched the first part that reached like more than 10,000 views. I hope that this uh, second part goes well as, as well, <laughs> goes well too. And um, yeah, guys, uh, I mean, I'm not just, I'm not sponsoring in particular this model, I'm not sponsoring anything here. Uh, but if you're interested in having like a different point of view, if you are a bit bored with your usual photography, because you are taking pictures with always the same gear, if you don't want to spend a lot of money to get different gear, you can always try something like that, like a Digicam. Yep. <laughs> I mean, if you're good, the results will come, so... It depends on you guys, it's on you. <laughs> so, 
Uh, I mean, I think that that's it for uh, this uh, for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, see you guys uh, here in the channel in the next videos. Bye. <laughs>